If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Wish there were more people here. It's almost like uh, being at a funeral or something. It's like, it's like a library. But Vladimir Guerrero is up at bat. He's my favorite Oriole. The night that uh, we had our problem here and our issue here, the whole purpose was to come out and give him the raspberries out here in right field, which is exactly what we did. We gave it to him pretty good. There were people holding Spanish, anti-Vladimir Guerrero signs. So I find it very, very humorous that he signed here and uh, that he's going to be an Oriole. And he's probably going to be the number one reason we're pretty good this year. I honestly think that when it's all said and done, Vlad will be the man. He's a Hall of Famer legit Hall of Fame. And he doesn't speak any English either, and he has 150 million bucks, and he's playing in this empty ballpark. Look at this. And you know why? Because he loves baseball. So I think that's cool. So I'm a Vlad guy, my Latin heritage. 50 years ago, they wouldn't have let him play baseball. So think about it like that. So I just found out that Vladimir Guerrero has a section here called Vlad's Ninos. I am definitely going up there on the fifth inning. It's up here. It's that one little section that they cordon off. It's kind of like where 34 was in the morning. We're past the first base bag. We're kicking the ball around already. We're not allowed to show that, though. That would be Major League Baseball property. So we're going to go meet. I want to see what the Ninos look like, what their story is. I bet this will be fun. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.